Hey, good morning everyone. It's Tiffany from Southern Gals Designs. Um, hopefully this video will be a little quieter because I put the dogs um, up so maybe we can actually make it through a video without um, them uh, in the background. So what I'm doing today is something a little different. Um, I actually got this wall hanging um, that I have repurposed. It says I got it for 59 cents. Um, I found it at, of course, one of my go-to uh, thrift stores. So I actually might hit up a few this afternoon since I'm off. But I took it, and when I saw it, it's lightweight. It had a saying on the front. Um, but I've already pre-gessoed it. <clears throat> and I pre-gessoed it with the Liquitex Basics um, gesso. And it gave it some tooth. I can still see a little bit in the background, but that's okay because we're probably going to paint and collage over it um, and make some, you know, different things like that. So, what the reason I'm doing this is I have a swap over at um, Artful Mail Groupies. Yeah, I think that's the name. I think I got it right this time. And the theme is birds. You could create any piece of art that you wanted to it just had to be on the theme of birds so what I came up with is I had been thinking and thinking and thinking what in the world am I going to do what am I going to do I don't know I don't know the time's coming to where I have to make a decision so this morning I woke up and I thought of what I could do so I knew I wanted to do a wall hanging um just because I think it would be nice if this person wants to hang it in their studio or whatever I just thought that this would be something cute and when I saw it I was like I can definitely do something with that so what I've already done is gesso this I wanted to use cardboard in it somehow because I just love the way it looks the corrugated cardboard so I cut this out of a lid on this little bird we're going to use that um, I've got some magazine papers um, over here that I've painted and I'm going to use that in the background and I don't really know what else but I guess we'll kind of take it from there and see how <clears throat> it comes out um, and one of the things that I want to go ahead and do before we really start on the um, my hair I was recently diagnosed with a form of alopecia and so if you don't know what that is that's where your hair falls out and so I am hopefully uh, gonna see some results from some medications and things that I'm on now but my hair really like falls out everywhere so I'm sorry if you see all that but okay so what I want to do is I want to go ahead and put a little gesso on my little birdie here so that because we're going to put I don't know exactly but we're going to do some kind of paint or something on this little guy because I have an idea of making his wing out of fabric so I cut a piece of fabric out that I think will be really cute with this but we're going to go ahead and pre-gesso him so we can let him sit and bake while we dry while we actually move on to the next uh, part so <clears throat> i have some liquitex uh, matte medium over here uh oh sorry my little yorkie's over here in my lap she's the quiet one so i let her hang out in the studio today but i'm gonna take some matte medium i'm just gonna put it in the top of the jar here and we're gonna start our collage and of course, like collage is, just going to slap it down. So I'm probably going to fast forward this so I really won't be talking through it much. Uh, just to give you guys the idea. And real quick, um, the matte medium is actually the Liquitex um, matte medium gel fluid medium um, that I'm using here. Just in case you wanted to know that. And sorry guys, last video, um, I got a frame. I did it, so I'm going to try to keep it in frame today, hopefully.
So now that we've got that done, we want to make sure it's good and dry. Um, and I think it's good and dry now. Um, and we're going to, well, if I can get this gesso out of the bottle, we're going to water down some gesso and give a nice whitewash on uh, this so we have a good base to start our layering and to start our painting and stuff. So. This is the um, Vibrant Turquoise Dilutions Ink. Pure Sunshine Dilutions Ink. I'm trying to find my stencil. <laughs> Have it off just a little bit. This is the uh, My Acrylics Close to My Heart Spot on Backgrounds. Let's try the Victorian Velvet. Let's go with just plain orange. Orange. Craft paint. The cheap stuff. You know how I roll. Alright. That was the first time I had ever tried that with those Copics. So I guess they don't work that way. I had some big brush um, pens or whatever they're called. And... I don't know exactly where they are now, so we're just going to put this on a little bubble wrap. Just a pop of color here and there. Maybe I need more. If you haven't figured out for my videos, I love color. Ooh, I love it. Okay, so I like that. I think we've got a nice background started here.
I like that. Okay, so now to decide what, um, I like the background. Um, I'm trying to decide now what color I want the bird to be. And this is kind of the thing that I was thinking about for the wing. It's this little pattern. I thought the colors were really pretty. I think we need to add some pink to the background back there, though. Oh, and I have this really pretty neon pink that I got. The Craft Smart neon uh, pink. So I think I'm just going to do a little dots. Here and there. Since we have that kind of pop of color on the wing part there. I think that'll be good. Okay, and now I'm thinking because of, and then also I'm going to use um, these bird feathers as the tail. Um, we actually have a um, blue and gold macaw. And so those feathers are from her. And so we have some pink, I mean some blue ones and we have some yellow ones. And so I'm going to use that as the tail feathers. So I am trying to figure out, I think I'm going to go with that. Hmm. Now that I'm thinking about it because of that blue on those feathers. Yeah, we're going to go yellow. Well, we got yellow. Ah, okay. Oh my gosh, I love that. That's going to be cute. Well, at least I think so. All right. Now our little bird is going to need his beak and his eyeball. And I'm just coloring this in with the Sharpie. Hopefully y'all can see that. his eye. Hope I'm not going to get my head in here. Let me do it with him. I always get Yep. Now bird has an eyeball. Alright. with the uh, Aline's Tacky Glue. Maybe that was it. 